Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now, today is a very bullish day for Bitcoin, pumping above $71,754 at the time of recording, which is crazy. Michael Saylor literally buying $800 million worth of Bitcoin overnight sent the price absolutely skyrocketing, which is unbelievable for crypto. There is uh, some XRP news, of course. That is a freaking given on my channel. And of course, next week is Wave of Innovation on the Gold Coast. If you have not gotten your tickets for that, make sure you get them. I will link it in the video description because I'm going to be there on Saturday, the day before the Grand Prix. Literally next week, it's going to be absolutely chaos. It is race week. Uh, we've got Glamour on the Grid on the Wednesday. Uh, Fridays, you know, practice, Saturdays, quali, Sundays, race. It's just mad. Or oh, I should say Saturdays, quali, yes, Sundays, race, as well as the XRP Wave of Innovation Conference on the uh, Gold Coast with Johnny Deaton. Ridiculous. Anyway, sorry about yesterday's uh, video. I didn't get one up because, again, there was just a lot happening. I just needed some time off to clear my head. And also, it was a public holiday here in Melbourne, which is very, very interesting. But anyway... We have uh, 94 million XRP exiting Binance as bulls reclaim control. We've always been in control, by the way. We've got Ripple CEO remarks propel price uh, as Coinbase battles the SEC. Where is Gary Gensler? I haven't seen him much these days on X, to be quite honest with you. He's probably just disappeared. Uh, CTO David Schwartz, that's Chief Technology Officer, or I should say Satoshi Nakamoto, just putting that out there. Um, again, XRP's path to passive income amidst the DeFi buzz, that's decentralized finance. I can't wait for that to happen, by the way, as well. And yes, Bitcoin are literally nearing $73,000 last night, which is wild. Did have a slight pullback, of course. Uh, Van Eck, one of the ETF fund managers right here, pulling off all the fees for their uh, exchange-traded fund. That is crazy. Uh, Ethereum as well, surpassing $4,000 US dollars. Currently down at the moment, 3981 at the moment or at the time of recording. This always happens just before the US market open. We have the UAE getting extremely bullish on Cardano as well. Fascinating. And Coinbase updates with the SEC as well. Why doesn't the SEC just get over it? Seriously, go chase... Other Wall Street giants and all these other people that are money laundering right there. I mean, just leave crypto alone, man. Just regulate it. Do what you have to do and just stop the lawsuits. It's enough. Uh, anyway, we've got Grayscale also, again, seeing huge outflows, which is very, very annoying. So we're going to go over that as well as my three commas trading bots on OKX. And we do have some updates in relation to OKX as well. Uh, I'll get into this in a second, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are getting freaking crazy in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. All right, I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. All right, formalities are out of the way straight to community tab. Uh, and uh, let's just go through this because BTT has been doing some pretty wild things. It's up 418% this morning. Again, this goes up and down, up and down. And again, I forget to mute my uh, computer because I get so many emails a day. Uh, we've got AMP uh, up 30% today, Star Atlas, Constellation DAG, and Litecoin, which is very, very interesting, all right? So keep an eye on those. Let's go to coin market cap, 2.69 trillion at the moment, $153 billion in volume. We're in definite bull market territory, guys. We really are. 52% Bitcoin dominance, 92 on the fear and greed index. You're, we're all greedy. Come on, we're all greedy. Gonna have a sip of the Red Bull. I'm still waiting for that endorsement, Red Bull. <laughs> anyway, Bitcoin sitting at 71,000. 
566 US dollars today. Ethereum's 3,900. Uh, Solana pulling back slightly to 149 US dollars, which is absolutely interesting because it's just blown my mind that I, again, I bought this at $30 uh, when it collapsed with FTX. So it, it just goes to show that if you're in early in any crypto project, which we technically still are, you know, you'll do well as long as you take profits, all right? Just make sure you do. XRP again up 9.73% or we'll just dropped a little bit now, 68 cents. USD, very undervalued. A couple of my favorite coins quickly. Uh, IMX, $3.48. Optimism, $4.33. Hedera is at $0.12 cents as well. Scrolling down. Uh, VeChain, still doing nothing for like 13, 14 months now. I'm still bullish on the project though. Uh, what else have we got here? Algorand is at $0.27. Cents. Say, $0.83. Cents. Sui is at $1.51. Um, Axe Infinity guys play to earn games. Again, I was dollar cost averaging uh, into this at $80 at the peak of the bull market. Uh, so I'm just waiting to get those gains back, of course. Uh, Quant is at $122. Worldcoin, $9.67. Very, very nice. IOTA here right now is at $0.38. Cents, completely undervalued. And of course, I've got X, uh, XYO Reef, which is doing some nice things as well. Uh, XDC, Sinfin, Casper. Um... All of these projects, very, very bullish. And I've got my banking coins list, which again, I've shared multiple times in the Patreon, the Wall Street Bull University. Now, speaking of which, again, if you have not joined the Wall Street Bull University, go join up. I've been posting up there uh, this morning. A lot of information here, guys. Again, all my buys, my sales, my trades, my indicators, uh, my trading bots with uh, three commas on OKX. Uh, everything's in there and how to set all of this up and get it going. Mine is still running. I literally just put another $1,000 into this uh, just to get it going because the market's doing quite well. I've got more than 78 bots running, which is crazy. It's all in the Wall Street Bull University as well as my dividend investing because, again, that's generational wealth that will be going to my daughter one day. Um, so, yeah, make sure you go check that out. And there is uh, over 940 plus members now, which is crazy. So go join up to that. There's 1,839 posts. That is a lot of information that you know you will find useful. I guess it would be considered financial advice, but uh, go join up. That is linked below. Now, quick look at three commas. Again, they are an official sponsor of the channel. Again, everything is linked below in the video description for three commas and OKX. Again, you can use uh, three commas on multiple exchanges. I'm using OKX. We'll get to an update about that in a second, guys. But uh, I am using the spot trading bots as well, which have worked out quite nicely. And again, I've got so many of them active at the moment. Uh, as against, you know, a hedge against being liquidated with uh, leverage, which not a lot of uh, YouTube influencers talk about. They trade with significant amount of leverage. I do as well. Uh, and you can get liquidated, meaning you will lose your position. Okay, so when you see these guys trading with like 10, 20, 30,000, $100,000, they're leveraging that up like 40, 50 times. Yes, you make a lot of money, but the risk is just insane. The higher the leverage, the quicker you're going to get liquidated based on the market correction in the price. That's just what happens, all right? So I've got my spot trading bots on single pairs uh, at the moment working for me. Uh, I also have uh, the multi-bot set up, meaning I'm trading all the perpetual contracts on OKX on 15x leverage. I've been higher than that at 20x. You get liquidated too quickly. Again, I, get, I think even 15x is too crazy. So a couple of these I've dropped down to 10x, my layer one coins and my ISO bot. Uh, now I've got the uh, single pair bots trading on 15x leverage and they've been working really, really well. So everything for three commas is linked below in the video description. Also on OKX, again, we're up 96 at the moment. I just put in some more capital, only up a, a 813 on the week so far. And I mean, it's what today is, uh, what day is it today? Tuesday. There you go, 12th of March. Uh, we're still up $8,539. That's 77% on the month, which is just crazy. Moving down, 129 open orders at the moment with 69 positions. It's been working really well, making those gains. Now, just wanted to point out with OKX, there's a few issues going on with the exchange at the moment in Australia because there is a transition occurring. They are becoming compliant with ASIC, the Australian regulator, as far as I'm concerned. I'm getting a lot of messages about people not being able to sign up here in Australia uh, and get KYC sorted because unfortunately you need to do that in order to trade with leverage. Uh, now again, the changes are coming in uh, basically in a few days. That's the 20th of March. OKX will be coming in uh, a lot more compliant with the Australian securities laws. 
Uh, apparently we need to become wholesale clients, which is going to be interesting. Uh, and of course with that, the, what, for my understanding, what happened with Binance in Australia, the leveraged amount that you can go is maximum about 10. So you won't be able to go any higher than that. And of course you need to be fully KYC before you can do that. It's really annoying uh, to see that the Australian regulator is pushing down on cryptos. I mean, even my video the other day on the banks, it's just getting harder and harder and harder. So again, if you basically haven't gotten into this space now, I think in the next six to you know 12 months, it's just gonna be virtually impossible to be quite honest with you because banks just don't want you owning crypto. That's a fact. They don't. Anyway, moving on. Again, go join up to the Wall Street Boy University. Quick, quick look, quick. I always say that. Uh, quick look at crypto bubbles. We are down on the hour. Moving on the day right here, Ton Coins pumping at the moment, 25%. Finally, nice to see XRP up 10% right now, still at 68 USD. Again, up 90% this year. Just patience. Just be very patient with XRP. There's a lot of news coming out about this, guys. And have a look at Brad Garlinghouse in a second. But um, there was a crypto transaction tracker game, Whale Alert. Uh, there was a various large transactions in the last 24 hours as bullish momentum returns on the market. I've always been freaking bullish. How could you not be bullish on an asset that will revolutionize cross-border payments and banking in general and just make it a lot faster and more cost-efficient? Not that I give it an absolute shit about the banks, but because they just have been ripping people off for the last century. Uh, but, you know, again, I'm following the money. But anyway, there were 94 million tokens were recently transferred from Binance into unknown wallets. Uh, which is interesting right here, prompting investors to uh, contemplate the reasons behind the transfers and possible outcomes. Well, you're never going to know people with that kind of money. You're never going to know unless it's a bank or, you know, BlackRock basically buying a Bitcoin or Grayscale selling for that matter. Uh, now we've got Ripple CEO, again, legend Brad Garlinghouse talks Bitcoin spot ETFs and crypto, which is really nice as well because we haven't heard from him for a while, but uh, broke an extended period of silence on Monday. Yes. Uh, discussing the Bitcoin spot ETF market and market performance. And Garlinghouse, Garlinghouse said, BTF uh, volumes have been soaring. Uh, obviously, we're due for a halving and a broader crypto market is following Bitcoin's lead and has historically been the case. As someone who has experienced multiple cycles of crypto is back, it's imperative uh, this bullishness go hand in hand with real world utility, real world utility, and that's the real and inevitable march of progress. Interesting. And Garlinghouse also spoke to Bloomberg Live recently saying, from the get-go, Ripple has worked with regulators, uh, Gary Genzer, <laughs> anyway, and we have worked with regulated institutions like banks where there isn't regulatory uncertainty, of course, especially in the UAE. We're so forward thinking. Please, Gary, get your shit together, mate. Uh, and also, we have found a part in the reason why XRP has performed well, because the people realize, hey, wait a minute. Uh, and again, Garlinghouse added, back to your question, uh, is XRP the next Bitcoin if we work with the system to solve a problem and we can solve that problem at scale, problem measured in trillions of dollars, then there's a lot of opportunity to create value in XRP. He knows it. They all know it. And of course, David Schwartz knows it as well. But this is really interesting. But David Schwartz highlights XRP's volatility and potential for gradual appreciation akin to Bitcoin, finally. And automatic market makers can leverage crypto volatility for a sustainable yield, says Schwartz. Realistic returns and risk management are key to decentralized finance investments, per Schwartz. Very, very interesting. I cannot wait for there to be something that would actually generate passive income from XRP it would therefore mean you would never have to sell it, right? Very, very interesting. Yes, again, I'm not going to get into Bitcoin's price because currently sitting at 71708 and probably Grayscale selling more freaking Bitcoin. Thank you, Grayscale. Van Eck removes all trading fees for their spot Bitcoin ETFs until March 31st. That is a very smart move, okay? They're going to get, attract more capital because there's no fees to buy the asset. Smart. And uh, interestingly, but since we believe strongly in Bitcoin starting tomorrow, you can invest in Van Eck Bitcoin Trust HODL without fees. No fees. Zero. I wonder if BlackRock's going to do that. Not that it matters anyway to them because they've got enough fees for that, to be quite honest with you. Ethereum has surpassed $4,000 ahead of the uh, 
Denken Upgrade. Who comes up with these names, man? <laughs> the Denken Upgrade uh, for Ethereum is expected to dramatically reduce gas fees. I'll be a monkey's uncle if they reduce the gas fees on the Ethereum network. Layer 2 to enhance scalability. You will not compete with XRP and you will not compete with Solana. It just will not happen. I should say XLM as well. There's many, many payment rails that are much better and far superior. But of course, everyone loves Ethereum, right? UAE adopts Cardano blockchain to enhance criminal investigation security, which is fascinating. And our global law enforcement recognizes blockchain's potential. And the UAE integrates Cardano blockchain for criminal investigation data management. The project presented at the summit illustrated how blockchain technology could facilitate a safe distribution of sensitive forensic information among global stakeholders. That is very, very bullish right there. That's awesome. Coinbase is fighting the SEC still, ladies and gents, and it's getting really annoying. But the Coinbase case, Coinbase is pushing back on the SEC. Uh, refusal to create new regulations for the digital asset industry. Uh, and on Monday, Coinbase's lawyers appealed to the Third court, uh, Circuit Court of Appeals to reverse the SEC's decision and to order the agency to start developing rules. I would love to see that happen. I really would, because I'm sick and tired of Gary Gensler and his BS. Grayscale sees huge Bitcoin outflow, uh, but record inflow for Van Eck. What is going on with Grayscale? A lot of people are getting out of the fund and probably locked up capital. They're just trying to sell off now. The market's high. This is, it happens on a weekly basis at this point. Money's going into Ethereum. We have Bitcoin, XRP, Solana, Doge. We have uh, Chainlink, Amp, Gala, Worldcoin, AVAX. Very, very nice projects. Quick look at X and then we're going to end up on it, guys. I'm absolutely exhausted. I hardly slept last night, to be quite honest with you. Anyway, we've got BlackRock, Fidelity right here. Bitcoin ETFs are ranked third and fourth of inflows among ETFs of 2024. It's going to be a lot bigger that uh, coming next month, ladies and gents, for sure. Bitcoin just flipped silver in market cap. That is unreal. Uh, Donald Trump last night, and I don't like to get political, but he was extremely bullish on Bitcoin. Have a listen to this. A new, it's, you know, if you, if you think of it, it's an additional form of currency. And I used to say, you know, I want one currency. I want the dollar. I don't want people leaving the dollar. And I feel, I feel that way. But I will tell you, it has taken on a life. Uh, I did a thing that people smile at, but. He was talking about sneakers last night. I did watch that and put a video up on X. Have a listen to David Schwartz. But the magic XRP. I think, comes from the fact that there is no central operator. All transactions are public. All the transaction rules are public. Anybody can enforce transaction rules. Like that was kind of where the magic was. And so we kind of took it apart. And the use case that we decided to target in the early days was payments. Payments are a multi-trillion dollar problem. And it seems like cryptocurrencies are just naturally suited to make payments better. And it's specifically, we kind of focused on cross-border international payments, not because domestic payments are great, but because it's cross-border payments are the worst. Like if you, anyone who's made an international payment probably has stories True. of bad experiences. And so the worse the thing you start with, the less amazing you have to be to be better. And I think like, I think we can eventually be amazing and sort of take over the payments world, but we're not going to be there day one. And so we, if we can't, you know, if we can't succeed against the worst part of the problem, why are we, why are we bothering? See, see, they are number one. It's just a matter of time. Anyway, there's a lot of price predictions coming out uh, again about XRP. And again, Grayscale has literally transferred 4,400 Bitcoin valued at $316 million uh, to Coinbase. Thank you, Grayscale. Appreciate that one. Uh, Bitcoin overtakes Swiss franc to become the 13th biggest currency in the world. That is bullish as anything. And yes, wave of innovation, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. This is uh, next week. Uh, which is incredible. It's just been an absolute journey. Uh, the team have been working incredibly hard on this, guys, and there are some incredible speakers coming down from all over the world. Uh, in particular, Johnny Deaton for me, I'd love to just shake his hand and say, mate, thank you very much. Uh, you're an absolute gem and a legend. And uh, who is he taking on? Elizabeth Warren, I, I'm fairly sure that is, but uh, he's going to become uh, part of Congress now, which is crazy. Well, I, I believe it's Congress, right? Remarkable, incredible stuff. So go Get your tickets for Wave of Innovation next week. I will be there. We can have a drink. We can talk crypto all day, all night. Very, very bullish. I'll be there for Saturday only uh, because the Sunday, of course, is race day at the Grand Prix. And I have not missed a Grand Prix. I kid you not. 
in 15 years or 10 years. So there you go. I am going to be going to the Grand Prix on Sunday. So I'm there for the day on the Gold Coast. Uh, now again, London Stock Exchange to start accepting Bitcoin exchange traded note applications. That is absolutely bullish. It's just an overall really great day for the crypto market. And of course, I have my favorite utility coins list and everyone should have this list. Bitcoin is in there. Ethereum, as much as I hate it, is there. I'm sorry, I do. Solana. Uh, we have XRP, which is king for me because uh, again, I'm focusing on the money. Utilities, king. Uh, Cardano, AVAX, Link. Worldcoin, as much as I hate the eyeball scanning uh, device, but I mean, digital identities are going to become part of a central bank digital currency. You can see it all being all connected. And of course, Casper working with IBM and of course, Alphabet, Google, uh, XDC. We're talking trade finance. That is enormous as well. Everything here has utility. Anyway, I'm out of here, Bulls. I will speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good afternoon, and good morning. And if it's morning, have a Red Bull. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Peace out. Bye.